Suits, I think, set like a record for what, what, like most hours viewed. 44 billion. Well, now they record it by minutes, which is, what is that? Yeah. Why are we looking by minutes? <laughs> Sounds when did cooler. that happen? I mean, it is having some. I've been traveling a little bit recently, and like I was oh in yeah. Italy, and the experience of traveling was it was as if it's so different than the first time around. Pat the Grand, hey, you're feeling cross. it, yeah, yeah, my cross, my cross, my cross, my cross, everywhere. Like people cool, going man. Nuts. in a way that it wasn't when the show was on. So it's like I don't know if there's a model of this happening. Certainly, there have been shows that have had like a second wind. But the degree to which this is successful yeah. right now is almost completely eclipsing the first time. It's like not even – it's like the first ra- the first run of it was like the rehearsal for this. Great way to put it. Which is like Netflix. I guess this is like the power of Netflix is they can just like Are you getting hit up know. by people that are discovering it for the first time? Um, Homies or teachers? Yeah, or- tons of people are cool. just like, oh, yeah, I never knew. It was really good. We're watching on season five. Like, yeah, yeah. So much shit. Isn't that crazy? I never knew. Because when it was on – it was a huge hit. So it was like But a it was very- a huge hit with a very select kind of it was not the kind of probably for you, like not the kind of T V you would right, watch. Right. It wasn't the kind of T V I would right, watch. Right. At that time. I yeah, wouldn't like yeah. I was not the I guy scouring would. USA totally. for I was like a yeah. Sopranos guy. I was right, like, I'm right, not right. I'm not watching that. Um, but there's something that happened, maybe the strike, maybe the pandemic, maybe there's just been so many shows that are very dark and complex and people were like, Wait a minute, where's my just seven seasons of like kind of easy going uh, you know, f- fair. I also went through a huge period of time because of suits where I wasn't auditioning as much. So I just got out of the rhythm of it. I was just in Toronto shooting. Because they so were just I, like, hey man, you want to do this? Do you want to do this? No, 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 no. Oh. I wasn't getting offers. Oh. I was just busy. Oh. No, no, no. I never, ever was in the like offer only <laughs> business. I just came home from suits. I was usually very tired yeah. and wanted to just hang out with Troy and be home. Um, the schedule was crazy. Yeah, the schedule was nuts. And, and Or then I'd go in and try and get good at auditions again for the like three months I was back from Suits. Right. I would always feel a little awkward and then I'd be back at Suits. So I, w- I, was, I was not really working a ton between those seasons. Suits audition comes along. Is it one of, are you in this routine of, of you know, piling up guest stars and just getting into a little bit of uh, a comfort zone of like, all right, I'm an audition is an audition. Uh, these opportunities come and I'm getting pretty good at going like, you know, make sure I'm prepped and then like throw it away. Or was this one like, oh fuck. Cause it's, you know, easier said than done to go, oh wow, this could be, this is a great part for me and I really want this. Um, I was in a pretty weird place. Yes, over the years I had started chalked up a lot of guest star stuff and I sort of, my confidence was up in that degree, but I had moved into that part. It was like, okay, I've done enough of these. Like now I got to get that pilot. That's like time to, and, right. and that's when pilot season was like a real, real, real thing. Yeah. And so I'd gone through a couple of pilot seasons. I think I'd gotten a couple of pilots and they'd all been just disastrous um, terrible fits. And, uh, so it hadn't worked out. And then just before suits, I had gotten another pilot and, uh, got fired after the table read. They called me and told me that they didn't want me anymore, but the director was like, but I'm not letting you go. You're going to come back and we're going to shoot scenes and we're going to show them. And I was like, oh, at this point I was like, yeah. dude, please yeah, don't yeah, do yeah. this to Almost me. More embarrassing. Yeah. Don't do this <laughs> to me. He made me come back and we had this whole like afternoon where we were shooting scenes with the other main girl. I think we all ended up getting fired for the record. I don't think anyone actually made it. Like Fran Kranz was one of the guys. Yeah, yeah. He got fired too. And Fran Kranz is the best. <clears throat> I think the writers got fired. Everybody got fired. But I was the first to get fired. Anyway, we shot that thing in the back lot. And then I found out two days later, they're like, sorry, man, it's over. And so it was the first time I had been fired. And I had all these kind of great, I felt like my career was like doing this. Yeah. And then I got fired and it was public and it was in the trades. And I just felt really embarrassed. And I was like, oh, it's over. Like the, the 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 roller coasters come to a stop, and it was about six months later, I think, maybe a little less, that I got the audition for Suits. Were you pretty in a good headspace for the Suits audition? Were you like, all right? Yeah, I was just in a like, you know, there's that um, now that it's had this like renaissance. <clears throat> there's this clip that's all over uh, social media, which is like that initial interview between Mike Ross and yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the audition scene, and that scene is all about my character saying, um, "Give me this fucking job." Like, I'm telling you right now, I will work 10 times harder than anybody else. If you give this opportunity to me, there is nobody in the world who will work harder for this. I want it more than anybody, and I, like, give it to me. That was the the driving force of the scene. That was the easiest thing in the world for me to do at that point. Like, mm. that, I went into every one of those auditions and just looked at first just the casting director, then the producer, then all the producers, and I was just like, give me this fucking job. 
because I will work harder than anybody you've ever met. Like I, I, I wasn't playing a role. I yeah. was just telling them how I felt and something about that translated. And like I said, that was probably the only other audition of my life where it was just like unquestionable. I was like, nobody else can have this part. And uh, how soon did you, you know, at that time, you don't know, you don't know it's going to be great. You don't know. You have no idea. It's gonna be, I, it was just another pilot at that time. But I was like, I connected the material. Let's go. And so it was an easy job to win. Not easy, but like it just felt connected. And then once we started shooting the pilot, I was like, whoa, this is this is different. Like we all actually like each other. Like like this isn't like most pilots I had done. It just burned out right yeah. away on reentry. Yeah. Just as soon as yep. you there's start shooting it, you realize it doesn't work. And there's egos and there's people that don't get along. Like this was immediately like, oh, we all really like each other and we all enjoy vibing on each other and playing and improvising. And that matters. Yeah. And we had a showrunner who was, um, you know, amazing with letting us play with it and wanting it to make like it just all gelled again that can happen and it not, never works. So I didn't think for sure this is going to be a runaway hit, um, but it certainly felt like more the thing. And then, you know, lo and behold, one after the other and suddenly like two seasons, it was around like two sec second season, third season, we were like, oh, this is a thing. Wow. <clears throat> well, yeah. Just based on reviews or people? I think just at that point, like the, even getting a second season, you know, is a big deal. Yeah. Um, and then by third season, I think we were just like, enough people our numbers were good enough for yeah. usa that was like oh this is like actually a, this is a hit for 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 usa numbers this is a hit it's crazy to not know i guess you know you every actor will say it you know doing a show like you don't know how the public's going to receive it but the material must have been when you're getting it uh day in and day out being like oh fuck yeah right <laughs> yeah. like this scene yeah, like yeah. it just i mean Every it was so scene exciting. Was so, it's so packed. Yeah, like, there's so much in it. And again, like, and room to play, you know, which which disappears a little bit over time in a weird way when you're on a show that long because the writers are gone and they're in another place and mm. suddenly it's like, can you just say what's in the script? But in those first few years, it was just like, whatever we needed to do to make this scene funnier, better, no work, way. like add, we would, not that they would give us free range, but it was like, we were all coming in with that same energy we described as young people in a theater. Like, what can we do to make this scene as good as possible? Like, this scene's good. What more can we do? I can mm. do this. I can do that. Now, granted, that ended up, you know, 15-hour shooting days. But we were all so excited and passionate in those first few years to, like, make this thing as fun as possible. Um, and good about keeping each other, like, would you get so comfy to where if it's like, I don't know, you wouldn't say like, come on, man, bring it. But there was just an understood, yeah. like, you wanted to be good for the other person. And, and sometimes if you weren't bringing it, like, I got you. You know, it was just like a family. Yeah. It was like, we are like, how do we make this scene work with what we've got today? Oh, you're in a bad mood today? Great. Let's use that. You know, it was oh, just yeah. that kind of energy, um, which it's just special. I think that people always want to know why did suits work or what. I think that's part of the alchemy. It's like, especially in those developmental years, we were just like in it. It is such a blur. And I've never watched the show. So I've never like, Wait. yeah, I've never watched it. <laughs> I'm not, not, I'm not that I've, I've seen episodes of the show. I have not watched. I would say I've probably watched between 15 to maybe 20 episodes of suits. Maybe I think probably in the 15 territory because I can't, it's hard for me. I, 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 I think it's easier to watch things in the past when I'm not shooting them. But while I was shooting it, it was horrendous for my, my insecurity it made me so self-aware that it was not helpful because you're walking away feeling good yeah I and mean, if you if you start dissecting something that you can't do anything about yeah that... like i've worked with actors that are amazing at just like watching and dialing being yeah, like yeah, i yeah. need to be a little bit more this a little bit more that that was funny that wasn't when i see myself i'm just like it's all a mess this is a ter terrible we should shut down production we should all go like i i go to such an extreme i can't do the minute dial changing mm -hmm. And so I learned quickly, like, don't do it. I directed some episodes. Obviously, I had cool. to watch in order to do that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, for the most part, I just realized it was better for my mental health to just stay away from stay away from the whole thing. You're in good company because I heard Johnny Depp, Sam Letterman once. I don't even watch any of my movies. Yeah. And Letterman's like, y uh, you haven't seen a chocolate? And he was like, I never even, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, did I make that movie? <laughs> I was not sure. I'm, uh, was I there? Was it before or after I drank a mega pint? I always dreamt about doing a Suits book. That's complicated because it's on the set and NBC Universal, and then you know they own I jam with them. No, so at some point I always thought about trying to put together a lot of my behind the scenes photographs. There. You have a ton. I have tons. Oh, tons, Pat, tons. the time <clears throat> is now. Yeah, we're we're trying what are you to waiting figure for out the what second is. wave of billions of hours we're, watched. We're we're, we're when talking there's trillions of, hours. <laughs> then we'll talk well we're about talking it. about trying to do one of these watch podcasts for Suits, which we haven't really talked about before um but you heard it here first we're trying to pull that together 